What you're looking at is the Bakute landfill in the heart of the Gambian capital, Banjul. After 20 years of dumping everything from human feces to used batteries, of suffocating fumes causing so many children here to be ill, the site was temporarily shut down by environmentalists and residents. But local authorities forcefully reopened it on Monday, which led to violence between people here and security forces. When Yaya Jamit was president, few dared to question the harm of this pollution. Now that he has fled into exile, environmentalists say they are finally getting their voices heard. We want waste management to be the center of policies as of now. We have talked about democracy and all of which we have achieved. So it's time for us to prioritize things that are affecting we, the society, we the people living in here. So that's why we need to protest to make sure that the government and all other developmental partners and stakeholders take this issue and situate it or center it within their policies. Balde has been picking through it for many years. He says he collects a kilo of recyclables he can then sell for a dollar, enough to make it through till tomorrow. Residents call people like him scavengers. Imam Jiang says the closure of the dump site could be a new beginning for Balde and others like him. Uh, it's, not, it's not what they choose for themselves. You know, it's, it's, they have no choice. You know, they have to come here and survive. First, get them out of this dump site, take them to the hospital, get them checked you know, to see their health conditions before I reintegrate them back to society. But for the new government, closing the site was only a temporary solution to a long-term problem. Every last Saturday of the month, Yaya Jame ordered Gambians to leave their homes and clean the streets. If they refused to do so, then they would either face jail time or get a fine. Now that he has left, this has stopped. Garbage is piling up. With the dump site reopened, there's more to pick through for Balde. But people who live nearby are angry and frustrated. They say they want the dump site transformed into a hospital, a school, or even farmland. But if not, they insist they'll shut it down permanently. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, Bakute Banjul.